Hey everybody, this is Jay Tirana in Canada, wondering how you doing, eh? Today on Polka Dot Kusama, what the FAQ? How do I register an on-chain identity? As we explore the Polka Dot UI, we see thousands of other people using the network with us. For many, we see a random identicon, a string of numbers and letters. But besides past activity, there really is no way to know the character behind the account. This is not a bad thing, and in fact is ideal for plenty of uses. But many people seem to see the value in registering their accounts with a name, a website, and methods of reaching out. We see these accounts among validators seeking the trust of nominators, on-chain foundations and businesses, among bug squashers, visionaries, council members, and freelance producers of content and code. These are the individuals and organizations moving our network toward its full potential. So, how can we join the team? We do so in two parts. First, we set an identity. Then, we request judgment of our claims by an on-chain registrar. A registrar is an official third party responsible for keeping a record. To find one we like, we go developer, chain state, and then query registrars in the identity palette. We can then paste these addresses into subscan to find more information. The first one on this list doesn't give us much to go on. Although we see they are a registrar, they haven't yet registered their own identity. Whereas with the next address, we find that this is called registrar number one. And we have an email and even a website where we can look into the person behind the service. And we can see this Mr. Shevdor has even written about registrars in his blog. The other three on the list belong to Marvin Tong from Fala, and then the company behind Bifrost, and finally Latentry, which is an identity project being built on Substrate. We can see they all charge a different amount for the service, and it ain't cheap. Which is another reason why you might want to get on top of this. Airdrops, only available to registered addresses. So given the fact that the first registrar has little info, and the final three are probably a little busy at the moment, I'm going to go with registrar number one. Which means we're ready to set our identity. This can be done quite simply through the accounts page. We just click the three dots, set on-chain identity, fill out all the fields we want verified, sign and submit, and there we have it. With a deposit of 0.0333333 KSM, we have joined the Gray Circle Club. People can see our name, our info, and they can even reach out. But they have no reason to trust that we actually control this Twitter account or this email address. While there are some Gray Circle holdouts, who may even be verifiable through transactions alone, most move on to request a judgment. And, hold on, I just got an email from Shevdor, the fellow behind registrar number one. Now, I haven't reached out to him yet, but it seems that his registration system is combing the chain for newly set identities. And this email contains all the information we need to go forward. Now this is a service. So, let's carry on. To request judgment by our favored registrar, we go Developer, Extrinsics, Identity Palette, and Request Judgment. We follow the instructions on the email and choose Registrar 1 here. We offer to pay 0.65 KSM, which is the cost of this registrar's service, submit transaction, sign, and another email arrives. So it seems Shevdor's registration service is a semi-automatic process. We will receive challenges, in this case sent to us over email, Element, and Twitter. We sign each challenge with our private keys and return the results to Shevdor. At this point, I reach out because I had never needed to sign with my account before. Turns out, to do so, we're going to go Developer, Sign and Verify, paste each challenge in this area, and then sign with this button. So, let's give it a go. First up is email. I copy the challenge, sign it up, paste the result to Shevdor, and... Next, I see that I've received a challenge via Element. Same process. Oh, 
job, Ken. Finally, I need that challenge over Twitter. Read the email carefully, he says. Looks like I need to follow Shevdor and potentially adjust some of the challenge sent via DM. I receive the challenge, try my best, sign and send. But this is what's great having Shevdor on the line. I send him the challenge, he adjusts it correctly, I sign, I send. So, there it is. I'm finally a somebody on the Kusama chain. Now, anybody who sees me around the UI can find my work and even reach out. And having a registered identity also allows others to take us more seriously. I know it's scary to put yourself out there, but Kusama is a collaboration machine. Business by the block. And once you get a few green check marks in your address book, magic begins to happen. So thanks very much to Shevdor for his help with this video. I should also point out that the price of his service adjusts with the value of KSM, and there are other challenges available for ledger users and multisigs. And if you're interested in the obfuscation of funds, which is basically the exact opposite of this, I highly, highly recommend you check out my buddy's video on Crypto Elementary. Link below. Finally, I'd like to know, if you've registered for an identity, what made you do it? Or still waiting? What's holding you back? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.